to the Good Green Home Show. Rich, you're going to teach me something today, aren't you? I'm going to teach you something every day. Every <laughs> week that we do this show, I'm going to teach Shauna something. She's going to teach me something. And we're going to together teach you something. And <laughs> awesome. today, yeah, you know, it's kind of how it goes. So today, what we're going to actually be talking about, what I'm going to be teaching is some quick tips to how to start seeds indoors. One of the things is you want to select a good seed starting mix. We highly recommend an organic seed starting mix such as uh, a product line from the company called Fox Farm. Fox Farm is an all organic soil manufacturing company. They also make organic fertilizers. So if you want to keep your seeds, especially your edibles, totally organic, you want to go with a company like Fox Farm. But starting your seeds indoors are going to take a, you know, a few different techniques, especially if you're doing it in the winter time. One of the things you're going to want to have to do is you're going to need a heat mat. We have a seedling heat mat and yes. we also have self-watering seed starting trays okay they come in all different sizes and shapes though i mean i've mm -hmm. seen them i've gone and there's like a giant section at your local independent garden center another thing you can do is actually use a peat pot and peat pots are actually all organic they break down if mm. you want to feel the texture on that one there shauna it's hard too i mean it's yep. going to stand up to being watered it's going to do the job it's going to get the plant started and it's going to do everything you need to do but what you want to do this is actually step two you're going to shift it from the seed starting self-watering tray mm -hmm. that you start on top of a seedling heat mat because when the soil is warm enough that's when the seed germination actually kicks off if the soil is too cold it will stunt the germination and it will slow down that process that explains the failure in my basement my basement is very cold <laughs> yeah. and it never the seeds start really slow so bring it up make it warm mm -hmm. and if you can add the heat mat i love that idea and then another thing that you can do is actually use an indoor grow light we actually have a spotlight and we've got a little bit of a more for the more serious indoor grower we actually have the the hood lamp that uh will produce a lot more lumens and ultraviolet rays that will actually mimic the sun. And now the technology is out there so that you can do it. You can go to your local garden center or you can shop online and you know, you can pick some of this stuff up very easily. And, and then you can do the seeds yourself. You know, sometimes a little bit of investment in the beginning is going to save you a ton of money in the long run. Absolutely. My favorite benefit of this is growing organic tips to hardening things off. Uh, you know, cool them down, especially at nighttime, get a little fan on there once the seedlings are going. And the fan actually, you'll actually find that there's actually organic uh, farmers and gardeners, even greenhouse growers that are using fans and, and also a method called brushing, where they're actually, if you brush your hand over the plant, that stimulates something inside the plant that actually gives it some natural ability to stiffen up and they're they're simulating that in the greenhouse now they've actually got watering booms with flaps on them that'll actually brush across oh, their cool. vegetable crop and it actually it's a natural way instead of adding a chemical uh growth regulator which you know will stiffen up the plant you don't want to add chemicals to your edibles so stiffen them up using a uh the brushing method and a fan and you're doing what you're doing nature great. was intended to do well, there you have it. Quick tips on how to start seeds. We're going to be back next with our guest, Tony Abrascato. Organic weed control plus fertilizer controls crabgrass and over 20 grassy and broadleaf weeds. It must be applied before weed seeds germinate. Do not seed for 90 days after applying. It's safe to use where children and pets play.